We heard for days the horror that Kristen Cinema was subjected to when someone walked in behind her in a bathroom and as she was in a stall, read off a statement about what was happening to immigrant families and in the horror what she's directly causing and preventing from happening because they were her constituents so. exactly yeah and the horror of sitting in your seat in an airline on an airline and having someone come up and politely ask you if you will make a commitment to not deport her family yes they interrupted her game of fruit ninja <laughs> So, so polite, in fact, that a stewardess came by and said, uh, is there anything else I can help you with? Are you OK? Can I get you something else? Do you Sounds need like peanuts? A war zone. Um, here is Brevard County, Florida, school board member Jennifer Jacobs at a meeting in um, at the Brevard County school board meeting. Uh, and apparently, like uh, the the she had been quiet about some of this harassment that she'd been getting because i think maybe they've been um uh talking about like having to wear masks in school and um and she'd been holding back apparently but i guess something came up that 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 sort of forced her hand to reveal what's been going on with her now and let's be clear this is not just happening to her although i have no doubt the fact that she's a woman on this board adds to the um, uh, level of intensity and the fact that it's in Florida because there's, you know, you got Ron DeSantis there running his political shop on the um, on a, a, a decidedly pro COVID uh, platform. Uh, but make no mistake, there's there's probably a dozen, if not dozens, of Jennifer Jacobs around the country dealing with this stuff. Listen to what she's been going through as a member of the school board. And, and lead by example, but I, I probably would have acknowledged, would have appreciated that acknowledgement six months ago when, when I started dealing with this stuff. Because, in spite of what people believe, I am not opposed to people practicing their First Amendment rights, even when it's outside of my home on a on a public property. I'm not. I'm not. Um, I think it's a silly method. I think it's ineffective. It doesn't move me or motivate me in any way, um, but I'm not opposed to it. Um, what I reject is this effort to create fear and division in the community that leads to credible threats of violence against me and my family. And there's a lot of things that I haven't shared with all of you up here. Um, I've tried not to talk about this stuff publicly. And when you guys brought this up today in the workshop, um, I, felt, I felt off guard and frustrated because then it became something on our agenda that I couldn't express to you why I was against it any longer because now it has to be in the sunshine. Um, I don't reject people coming here and speaking their voice. They, they do it all the time. We, we, don't, we don't stop them from doing that. I don't reject them standing outside my home. Um, I reject them following me around in a car, following my car around. I reject them saying that they're coming for me, that, they're, that I need to beg for mercy. I reject that when they are using their First Amendment rights on public property, they're also going behind my home and brandishing their weapons to my neighbors that they're making false DCF claims against me to my daughter, that I have to take a DCF investigator to her play date to go underneath her clothing and check for burn marks. That's what I'm against, which is a credible threat and calculated. So that's I mean, what she's referring to there is uh, Department of Child Welfare. Uh, essentially, or, or the equivalent down in, uh, in where she lives. And I should say her, uh, I, I said her name was Jennifer Jacobs. I meant uh, Jenkins. Um, and, I mean, that's actual harassment. That is not, and you can see clips of, like, protesters outside her house at night and this and that, and, and, and occasionally that will happen. I can certainly, um, as a general rule... You know, I think that uh, people who are in the, the public eye, that happens. Um, in, in my mind, I prefer it for, for people who are trying to avoid dealing with certain things, like who are shrouded 
you know, maybe the CEO of a gun manufacturer or something to that effect. But um, the public eye. But 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 she is a school, school board, board member yeah, right. and and everything else she accounted. I mean, these people should be arrested as far as I'm concerned. Here is Josh Hawley from Missouri um, uh, complaining to a DOJ official who put out a notice that if state law, uh, state law enforcement needs to deal with situations like this, like people essentially like, you know, swatting uh, uh, school board members by calling uh, child services. They're or, concerned about child abuse, by the way, this crowd, this mask, anti-mask crowd. They're concerned Tucker, about child abuse. Which Tucker Carlson told them to be. Yeah. And right. uh, here's Josh Hawley complaining that the DOJ is, is offering federal help in the event that there's been a law, law breaking in this instance. Here's Josh Hawley. And then, and uh, this is, I should say, video from the recount, which stitches together uh, both uh, Hawley's uh, words and some of these uh, situations around the country. Is waiting to express one's view at a school board meeting, harassment and intimidation? We, we know who we you, know are. Who you are. are. We will find you and we know you who you are. You will never be allowed in we public again. You, you better watch out. Harassment and intimidation? What did those terms mean in the context of a local school board meeting? I will come after you. I'm going to come for everybody. You have awakened the ape army and we will come for you and the Holy Spirit is coming with us. If this isn't a deliberate attempt to chill parents from showing up at school board meetings i don't know what is you need to be arrested you're allowing child abuse you're allowing child abuse it's child abuse tell me where the line is with parents expressing their concerns multiple people were arrested including one man who was tackled to the ground by deputies fists are now flying all of this on live television hey 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 oh, 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 guys come on come on hey officers whatever happened to just working things out yeah you gotta call the yeah. fbi <laughs> I mean, there it is. Uh, you know, this is, um, uh, it, it is, I mean, this is really, this is some real psycho They're, they're re deliberately downplaying it because yep. this is a part of a grassroots, we're now learning AstroTurf campaign funded by people like the Koch brothers who are trying to gin up and excite this kind of anger because they see it as a political tool. And these people screaming child abuse, as Matt said, that was planted in their mind by Tucker Carlson and then all of the other right-wing pundits that copy him as they're basically swatting this school board member who we played before, uh, Jenkins, and having her child search for burn marks. If you don't think that's traumatic to the child and you really care about child abuse, maybe all of this is just a projection of your anger about society slipping away from you and you've got, uh, you're a subject of a like Republican campaign to exploit your anxiety. There's no introspection about it and it's all projection about their children. They pretend it's about their children when in reality it's about themselves.